I'm just gonna go and talk to Dad for a few minutes and I'll be right back. Just stay here and watch your cartoons. Okay. Now I'll be back in just about five minutes. I'll lock the door behind me. Jack? Jack? What the hell? You like it. It's my next public talk. I've heard worse. What are you doing down here? I just wanted to talk to you. Okay, let's talk. What do you want to talk about? I can't really remember. You can't remember? No, I can't. I think we should discuss Danny. I think we should discuss what should be done with him. What should be done with him? I think maybe he should be taken to a doctor. When do you think maybe he should be taken to a doctor? As soon as possible. You believe his health might be at stake? Yes. And you are concerned about him? Yes. And are you concerned about me? Of course I am. Of course you are. Have you ever thought about my responsibilities? Have you ever had a single moment's thought about my responsibilities? Have you ever thought for a single solitary moment about my responsibilities to my employers, the governing body? Has it ever occurred to you that I have agreed to look after the JW.Borg Hotel until May the 1st? Does it matter to you at all that the governing body have placed their complete confidence and trust in me, and that I have signed a letter of agreement, a contract, in which I have accepted that responsibility? Do you have the slightest idea what a moral and ethical principle is? Do you? Has it ever occurred to you what would happen to my future, if I were to fail to live up to my responsibilities and be removed as an elder? Has it? Stay away from me. Why? Well, I'm very confused, and I just need a chance to think things over. You've had your whole fucking life to think things over, what's a few minutes more going to do you now? Don't hurt me. Darling, light of my life, I'm not going to hurt you. You didn't let me finish my sentence. I said I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to bash your brains in. I'm going to bash them right the fucking. Stay away from me. Oh no. <laughs> Come here, baby. <laughs> Oh my god! My head hurts. That bitch. Wendy. You've got a big surprise coming. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> I disabled the snowcat in the radio. <laughs> Go check it out. <laughs> that bastard. No snowcat, no radio. Now what? Wendy? It's greedy. Mr. Torrance. Little but Grady. Oh, hi, Grady. Mr. Torrance, I see you can hardly have taken care of the business we discussed. No need to rub it in, Mr. Grady. I'll deal with that situation as soon as I get out of here. Will you indeed, Mr. Torrance? I wonder. I have my doubts. I and others have come to believe that your heart is not in this, that you haven't the belly for it. That maybe you should be removed as an elder. Just give me one more chance to prove it, Mr. Grady. That's all I ask. Your wife appears to be stronger than we imagined, Mr. Torrance. Somewhat more resourceful, she seems to have got the better of you. For the moment, Mr. Grady. Only for the moment. I fear that you will have to deal with this matter in the harshest possible way, Mr. Torrance. I fear that is the only thing to do. There's nothing I look forward to with a greater pleasure, Mr. Grady. 
You give your word on that, do you, Mr. Torrance? I give you my word. 